Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back with another episode of Quick Hits. Uh, Hits is going uh, <clears> to <throat> break down every fight and show you how to make money, how to bring down the house. Um, we're going to do that today with uh, Jose Cepeda and Richardson Hitches. This is a decent fight to make some money on. Uh, we did the Pierce O'Leary Gardner fight before. Uh, we've done the uh, the heavyweight fight as well with, with, with Joyce and Zhang. Uh, and today we're going to do Zepeda and Pedraza. But before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog on all forms of social media. Uh, the Boxing Bookie comes at you for every fight, helping you make money. Also subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That is Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. All right. So Zepeda and, and Hitchens is, is a good fight in namesake. It, 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 it's a good fight on paper. Uh, Hitchens is one of the top young prospects in the division and, and it really in the sport. Zepeda is a rugged fighter who uh, has come close to world titles. He, he fought Ramirez really competitively. A lot of people think he won that fight. He fought uh, Regis Progre um, competitively. He, he's there with everyone. He's a top-notch 140-pounder. Um but this fight is different. Um, I, I, I don't know how he deals with, with, with a master boxer who's crafty and slick and can come forward and backwards like Hitches. Hitches is a complete fighter. I know his knockout ratio is not great. I'm not picking him to get a knockout, but he can hit. He's not feather-fisted, right? There's a, little, there's a little power behind what he does. He's just not really looking to put things together. Zepeda is not quite a boxer, and he's not quite a brawler, although he's explosive. He's got really good knockouts. Over Jose Vargas, he's got a knockout of the year. Um, over Brand Chicken and a fight of the year, he's got these great fights, these great knockouts, right? But those guys are there to be hit. Hitchens isn't. Um, the Pettit is easy to hit. He's easy to find. Uh, I think Hitchens is just going to basically pick him apart. Um, you know, the last thing the Pettit is going to have is a puncher's chance, but I, I don't see how he can get in on him, right, to, to really land it. Uh, you know, how is he going to find that lightning in the bottle? I, I don't see any any way that he can really land it. So I, I like the fight. I think the fight's good on on paper. I think in the actual ring, I think it's kind of boring. I think it's kind of pitching this dom dominates off the jab. Um, like I said, Zepeda's a southpaw. I think he's going to get nailed with a ton of lead right hands. Uh, for a southpaw, he's, he's awfully susceptible to the left hook. Um, which we've seen with Regis, who's a southpaw. And we've also seen with Branchek. Uh, but he's, he can be hit with the left hook, too, which is kind of weird for a southpaw. And I, I think Hitchens can can capitalize on that with left hook to the head and to the body. Um, he throws some lead left hooks. Um, he's not really a hooker, but he throws some lead left hooks. Um, you know, it's a pet is a guy that breaks down over time. Right? He, he starts fast and he slows down over time. Uh, we've seen it with Kevin Castano. We saw it with Richard Progre. We've seen it with, 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 with a lot of guys. Branchick, he got out. Vargas, he got out quick. Um, Hitchens, on the other hand, like just round after round, it seems to get stronger. It has an excellent gas tank, has an excellent engine, throws, you know, doesn't throw a ton of shots, uh, but throws, you know, a decent volume um, and, and and doesn't seem to fade. He seems to get stronger, if anything. Um, so I, this, is, this is not a great fight stylistically uh, for Zepeda. Uh, he can't outbox him. Um, if Hitchens can get him to go backwards, it's, it's over. If Hitchens can kind of walk him down, it's, it's done with. Uh, but I, I also don't think Hitchens knocks him out. Um, you know, Hitchens is not a knockout hitter. Uh, Zepeda, I stopped by Regis, uh, but that's a different type of fighter. I do think this goes the distance, and I'm going to show you how to make some money off this fight. All right. Let me pull it up here for y'all, and let's take a look. All right, so Richardson Hitchens minus four fifty. 
it's not going to make you a ton of money. It's a one-time bet. It makes you $20, $100 dollars bet makes you $22.22. So you walk away with $100 plus 22 dollars The over-under is uh, 10.5 rounds. We're going to take the over because we're taking Hitchinson's on points. We're taking Richardson Hitchinson's on points. Um, so we're going over 10.5 rounds. Another one time bet makes it 26.31. And then we take a Hitchens by decision, which is going to pay minus 165. So that's going to make you $60.61. So your $300 bet, which I think is safe, I think this is a, a pretty safe bet, it is going to make you. $110. Maybe about $110, $109 and, and some cent and some change. Uh, so again, you know, it's basically, you know, all of this, it, it's about three to one, but it's a way that you can make money. Three to one in your favor. Uh if you put a, if you if you add it all up, three dollar bet makes you about $110. It's a little better than that. Uh but I, I think it's pretty safe. And again, you're not gonna bring down the house on this one, but you're gonna make some money off. You're gonna make some money off of this, you're gonna make some money off Pierce O'Leary. If you go back and listen to the yesterday video, if you listen to the video the day before that, I'm sure you had to really make money on the heavyweight fight. There's a lot of money to be made um on the heavyweight fight. If you go back, I'll put the, the, the link in the description. Please check that out as well. Uh, but that's what we got today. Um so we have just a recap. Um and this is according to DraftKings. Um hundred dollars. A one-time bet on Richardson Hitchens, a one-time bet on uh, Hitchens by decision. You, you can make that a two-times bet if you want. That's not a bad idea. I think that's your best bet. You know, you can do that. Um, and then a, a one-time bet on it going over 10 and a half. But if you're going to say by decision, you might as well go with that too. Um so this is how we're doing it. Um, again, it's going to make you decent money. It's going to make you, you know, about you know, a hundred dollars on a three hundred dollar bet. Uh, so you walk away with four hundred dollars. So it's not, it's not, it's not great money, but I think it's pretty safe. I think it's, it's a safe way to to kind of hedge your bet. Um, again, I will leave the link in the description for the Pierce O'Leary uh, fight, which uh, and and the, and the heavyweight fight as well. Uh, so please like, share, and subscribe. Um, the boxing bookie comes at you for for every fight. We're showing you how to bring down the house and uh, and, and and make money on on every single fight, uh, every single fight that we can. Um, we're doing these videos every day for you. If you follow me, you're gonna you're gonna make money. It's not a matter of if you're gonna make money. Like I said, the, the, the Vegas, the bookmaker, they don't know they don't know anything about handicap and boxing. I do. I'll show you how to do it again. And I don't gamble. And this is DraftKings. You can't even use DraftKings in Texas. This is just free advice for me to you. Um, but please check us out um, on. Uh, on uh, 3D Boxing Blog as well. Um, also follow me on Texas Boxing Scene. It is September 22nd, 2023. From Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.